drop him, drop him. One hook and I'll rock him. One more and I'll stop him. Call the fighter, I'll up him, up him, up him. If he reaches, I'll pop him. Street sweeper, I'll wash him. Homicide, come and chop him. Drop him, drop him. One hook and I'll rock him. One more and I'll stop him. Call the fighter, I'll up him, up him, up him. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros, a comments made by Bob Arum. And basically what we're asking is, will we see Vasily Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson next year? Now, there's a video on Fight Hype where you can watch the interview in its entirety. But because it's so perfectly laid out here by Michael Benson, we're just going to read it. So uh, this is a tweet from Michael Benson. Vasily Lomachenko's return is being planned for October. Bob has revealed... He said Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson is a fight that has to be made in the not too distant future, potentially next year. And that video appears courtesy of Fight Hype. As I said, you can watch the vid- you can watch the interview on Fight Hype. So I'm gonna turn over to you, Conspiracy G. Bob Arum is saying that that's a fight that needs to take place in a not too distant future, potentially next year. What are your thoughts on that? Listen, salute to Loma for for one take the the big big fights, but he's been inactive for a long time. So I I don't know if one tuna fight is enough before he gets in there with uh, Shakur. I, I think he'll need two more to be honest. And um, I, yeah, I don't know, man. This is a this well, is a great well, fight. On, see, see. Are you saying Vasily's Ukrainian suit? Nah, 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 nah. I never. Yo, listen, listen. The Ukrainian suit was designated for my man, uh, Usyk. That was prior to me seeing that he's far from soup. You know what I'm saying? But Vasily, I'm telling you, after what he did to Axe Man, he got nothing but my respect. I was like, yo, this dude's a bad man for real, you know. But Shakur is also a bad man. And, and shout out to to Boxing Bros, uh, Newark, New Jersey. I. I don't know, man. I'm be honest. My money's on Shakur on this one, but I know it still would be competitive. But Shakur is just a different animal, man. So, shout out to Bob for trying to make this fight too. Like, I think this is a good look, and I think this will propel propel, uh, Shakur into stardom by defeating a Lomachenko. You know, Um, and Lomachenko, man, salute to him. I, I think this is cool, but. You know it's crazy, and I don't even mean to say this like compared to, but I would rather see Loma go up against Haney than Loma going up against Stevenson. I think he'll have a better chance at beating Haney than Shakur, to be on my me personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that doesn't mean like Shakur is better than Haney. I just mean like styles make fights, and I think like Loma will probably have a better chance with Haney, you know, and not to mention they got bad blood and stuff. And so I but nonetheless, it's a great fight. I would like to see it. I just, I'm just shocked that Vasily wants that fight. I don't know if Vasily even wants it. It's just saying Bob wants it, right? So it just makes you wonder, like, is Loma down with this fight? Go ahead, Ned. See, you made yourself right now. What am I saying? I'm. uh, This is no. How about about you just explain? I didn't mean to interrupt you. (laughs) Go ahead. No, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead, go ahead. Just finish your statement. You say you don't mean to interrupt them after the interruption's already done, bro. That's so, okay. You might as well go ahead. I meant to interrupt you. I know you meant to interrupt me, so go ahead. <laughs> what you, 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 you talking like those silly some slouch or something like that. Yo, I never said it. that. Well, look, what am I, you know, yo, now you remind me of these dudes that be in the comments. No, yo. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm gonna say my piece when it's my turn, but. <laughs> That's what's up. You, you right. just you just knock your facility. Never man. once, never once did I violate facility. I just think it sounds like violation. I just don't think Loma's gonna beat Shakur. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion, and that's why I said I applaud Loma for if if Loma wants this fight, salute to Loma. That that tells me this dude truly is a warrior. But I just feel Loma has a better chance of beating uh, Devin than he does Shakur. That's all I was saying, you know. But nonetheless, I want to see the fight. I just. I mean, honest man, he beat Shakur, man. This dude is a problem, but Shakur is also a problem, problem, you know. So, 
it's going to be a real tactical fight. You know what I mean? It's going to be a great fight. I, I like that type of boxing when it's two tacticians like in the ring going at it. You know what I mean? Like to me, that's like fascinating. It's like, all right, well, who has a better strategy? Who can make the, the quick adjustments? Like with Loma to me, and hey, this is just my opinion. Loma takes time to, to, to process the fight. He takes like a couple of rounds in the beginning that I feel like that's detrimental for him against a Shakur. Shakur just goes from round one to round 12. Loma takes time before he actually finally activates. So unless Loma's going to have a different strategy, like, yo, I'm just going to go in there. I already know what I'm I'm, I'm, I'm up against. I'm going to take him out. Then it's like, all right, you know what? You got that. But I don't see that from Loma. A lot of times, even where I've seen Loma like volley dudes, he still takes a couple of rounds in the beginning to process things. Can he really afford to do that against a guy like Shakur? I don't know. I think that's too risky. I mean, me personally. So, yeah. But salute to Loma, man. If he can, if Bob can convince him to do this fight, Loma, you the man. Even though I think you're gonna lose. With all due respect. <laughs> All right, uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having technical difficulties over here, but I'm trying to maintain. Uh, shout out to Bob. Uh, <laughs> my brother Caden is hilarious, right? A uh, couple of episodes ago, he said that Bob wanted to see all the good fights because he only got to do some of the stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> It was told, but it was true. You know, what I'm <laughs> that's what it seems like. You know, <laughs> more summer. Like, yeah, for real. He's he's like, I want to see everything now. He's trying to make everything happen. No tune ups, nothing. Everybody's getting to it. He's saying, okay, he's coming back in October. He should be ready to fight in December. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just saying, if a fight ever gets pushed up, <laughs> that's a warning. Like if Bob ever, they get a call like Bob. Bob's like. How serious is it? <laughs> We're moving the fight up tomorrow. <laughs> Bob, Bob want to see all these fights, man. Low Machenko's coming back in October. You know what would be dope if he puts that fight because I know that um uh uh, uh that better beeves right after he has a fight coming up in October as well with Anthony Yard. So he should put that, maybe try to put that on the same card. I think that that would be extra live. You know what I'm saying? Because he was saying both in October. So I think that would be dope. You know what I'm saying? For the return of Lord Machenko, then have Yard and uh, Better Vive get it on. I think that would be dope. Yeah, but these guys are – let's just be real. If, if we had to pick, this fight is the this is the real A-side fight. Like this is the – people would rather see this than to see all the Better Vive – and, and, and no, no, I was talking about in October for the return of Lowe Machenko, not the Lowe Machenko Stevenson fight. Oh, but, gotcha. Oh, yeah. right, just right. on his return and throw yeah, the uh, makes sense. Throw makes the yard in the better V fight together. You know what I'm saying? Make a big uh, ESPN fight, top rank fight. You know, I think that'd be dope. All right. Um, TBE. All right. G, I don't know what G talking about Vasily. Like he's some like he 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 doesn't have the skills to pay the bills. Like Vasily is elite, and Shakur is elite, and this is a this is a dangerous fight. Period. This is a must see. T must. <laughs> yeah, yo, what you, you know what I'm trying to say? Now, this now there's gonna be like 20 dudes in the comments <laughs> repeating what Ned said, as if I said. Yo, <laughs> I don't <laughs> see what GC it. I think Vasily's a good you, fighter. You, 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 you <laughs> picked up the core, but you did not pick up Vasily. They both are they both killers. I did hey, pick him up. Was the younger fighter Shakur? I don't know the experience Shakur has, but Vasily has the experience. And yes, Vasily has shown he's a slow starter it's against Tio Fimo and. What was the dude's name he lost to early in his career? Uh, hold on, I got it right here. Hmm. Vasily Orlando, uh, Orlando Salido. Like in the Orlando Salido fight, Vasily showed like he didn't like he's just boxing. He didn't he got bullied. But the Nakatani fight, the Richard Comey fight, Vasily showed like I'm I'm ready to kill people. Like it's over with. Like I'm not playing around nobody. So I think this is gonna be a crazy fight. And I don't if whoever wins, I love both these dudes, yo. They is they great fighters. And they, I love when I see great fighters fight great fighters. And Facili ain't no point. The core ain't no point. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be like this is must see TV. And we gotta see it. We I, if pay per view hundred dollars, everybody pay pay hundred dollars to watch this fight. 
And Yo, look at your face, G. This is a great fight right here. It's your pockets for an amazing fight. Man, you amazing fight. Let's Man. Bob, make it happen. Bob, if that's your last summer, make it your best summer, yo. A hot Bob summer, you feel me? It's going to be a hot Bob summer before you go out. And that's real. And like, shoot, that's all I got to say. Hot Bob summer. Yo, pause. I don't really like how that sounded, yo. Yo, yo I just Bob, said this Bob. is last summer. We got hot Bob summer, yo. Bob going to make the best summer ever, yo. You going to hear crazy stories about Bob. Because of his hot bob summer, no pause. It's still soccer, but yeah. <laughs> HBS Ned. <laughs> hot, bo- hot bob summer. Ned. Like, what the hot bob summer? Oh. But for the record, I'm just saying, Ned, I agree with everything you said. I don't see where I contradicted what you were saying. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, I'm just you, gave, you gave Shakur all the credit, you, but you like... I ain't him all the credit. I said it's going to be a real tactical fight. Both men are tacticians. But you know, tacticians, you know, but I like, just feel like Shakur is going to pull off the victory. That's all I said, and I got nothing but respect for Loma. I've never called Loma a uh, uh, Ukrainian soup for the record. You know what I'm saying? It's like, kind of like it. <laughs> That's I, mean, I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know. I just have a feeling that we might be. I don't know. I hope we don't be too tactical. Tactical. It has to be. You know these gentlemen, man. You know how they give it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, but I don't mind it when it's two of them. I think it's dope because it's like, all right, which style is superior? So I could, I could, I could work with that. It's usually what sucks. It's like you got one guy that's like really tactical, and another guy's just like a brawler, and you're just watching the brawler just get pounded on all twelve rounds. That's boring. I just don't want to see you know. Uh, for the whole fight, 200 punches thrown, 16 landed. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, who got the best strategy? You feel me? <laughs> yeah, look, I think for me, Vasily Lomachenko is a great talent, and I think he's already accomplished a lot. And <clears throat> I feel like there's some some channels who don't like Vasily Lomachenko um, and they tend to overlook all the things he's accomplished. So they tend to downplay him and underrate him. Um, and, you know, there were some channels who used Vasily Lomachenko as ways to downplay and underrate other fighters, like, say, a Devin Haney, for example. But for me, I'm the type of person, like I said, I love boxing first, and then there's fighters I like. So I love boxing first, and then there's fighters I like. So what that means is that I fell in love with the sport of boxing. I didn't fall in love with a fighter. I love boxing, and fighters come and go, and I always love boxing, right? Um, And during the course of that time, there are fighters I like. Vasily Lomachenko is a fighter I like. Shakur Stevenson is a fighter I like. Devin Haney is a fighter I like. So I like all three of those guys. I think they're very talented. I think they're hardworking. I think they embody what boxing's all about. Dedication to the craft, skill, um, commitment in terms of like your physical shape, making sure that you're in peak physical condition to carry out what you need to do in order to win. I've seen it from all of these guys. Like, for example, Devin Haney got hit with a tough shot from Jorge Linares and he could have went down and he could have gave up. He found a way to win. Vasily Lomachenko was losing to Teofimo Lopez. Teo's dad started yelling, it's a blowout. It's a blowout. And Vasily said, okay, watch this. You know, like that meme going around and then he ended up, yeah, (laughs) he ended up up making it, you know, very close fight. So you were talking about guys who have dog in them. Um, for me, Vasily Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson next year, my question would be, why not Devin? So we're assuming that his comeback fight is going to be someone who he beats, not necessarily top-tier opponent in October, right? So if the fight's going to take place next year, why not Devin? Why not give Vasily a shot at Undisputed? Why Shakur? Is it because you're saying the winner of that fight is going to get a shot at Devin? Um, if that's the case and, and Vasily's cool with it, then fine. But 
one would think that for me personally at least Devin and Vasily would be the fight to make because that's a huge fight Devin who end up getting the uh, the WBC belt while Vasily was franchised and blah 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 there's just a whole bunch of things going on and Devin's finally you know, connected the franchise in the regular title or whatever you want to call it, and then they can get it on. But with that being said, Vasily Lomachenko is 34 years old. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is 25 years old. And I don't know if you recall this, but when we first started this show, we had a topic of who do I think would win between Vasily Lomachenko and Devin Haney. I said if the fight happened this year, I'd pick Vasily. But if you ask me two years from now, I don't know who I would pick. And I just feel like as the time goes by and we're talking about the fight happening next year, it becomes more advantageous for Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney, guys who are in their early, mid-20s versus someone who's approaching 40 in the lighter division. But with that being said, Vasily is you know, a physical specimen. He is high boxing IQ. He takes care of himself. So maybe he can stave off fall of a time a little longer than, say, the average person. But will it play a role in the fights? So, I mean, I'm with you, G. I don't think that you're sitting there trying to write off a silly Lomachenko. You're just using logic and saying, like, you know, I don't know how much how long, how much longer Vasily can perform at this level. And you're taking a guy like Shakur Stevenson, who one would think is only improving and getting stronger over time. And saying now you're gonna throw him in a ring. But silly, I don't think anyone beats him easy, but Shakur Stevenson, that's that's a tough task right there. So yeah. I mean I, plus when you add in, like y'all said, for the time. That's mm-hmm. and that's this that's my argument too. I don't think like shout out to Shakur, he's a great uh fighter. But I think it, and, and I have issues with Loma, obviously, with the whole Devin Haney situation. But Loma has earned a right. To fight for those belts. Let's just be real. So it's like, to me, I kind of feel like this is allowing Shakur to like skip the line almost, you know? So I, I don't know. I think Bob should reconsider this and try to land the Loma versus Haney fight. You know, like, I think that's important. I think that will sell way more, obviously. They have bad blood. There's a storyline behind it. So there's a lot you could do with that, but it seems like Bob just wants to keep it in-house, just Loma and Shakur, but what if Loma loses? You know what I mean? It's I don't, I don't know. Then, he go, then he's just going to make Shakur a star, and then Shakur no, That's will. what he look at, like y'all said. Yeah, he's he's, he's, the, guy. Guy. he's yeah. the old guy. He's the old guy. It's like maybe making that a past the torch fight, and hopefully that... Mm-hmm. And that's why I don't like it. And that's why I don't like it. And you, you know see, as man? much as Ned thinks I'm hating on Loma, I'm actually it's not. I think true. Loma deserves the right to fight Devin Haney for, for all those belts. You know what I mean? He's proven himself at 135. Like, proven. Shakur has Shakur even fought at 135 yet? No, nah, I don't believe so. You see no. what I'm saying? So what if Shakur beats Loma? Now Shakur goes, yo, I want H- Haney next. Everybody's like, oh, I guess he's gonna get Haney next. And it's like, yo, come on, man. It like wait your turn almost. It's kind of like with boots, right? It's like, yeah, everybody's like, yo, boots, you gotta fight uh Spence next. But it's like, nah, bro, we want to see undisputed first. Then you go deal with, with, with boots later on. But let's let the the big boys play. Loma needs that 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 he needs to shoot the fair one with, with my man Devin Haney. After that, then y'all could do what y'all want. Bob, you want to just have Loma be the, you know, what I mean, be the play thing where dudes just beat him up for the name. Then how about it? But as of right now, I kind of feel like, and I'm not even disrespecting Shakur. This is just my honest opinion. I feel like Shakur needs to wait his turn. Like he's not even like he is the man at 130, but he's not the man at 135. There's guys that already are like, we want to see Tank, we want to see guys Ryan, we want to see Loma, we want to see Devin, we want to see those dudes in the ring. It's dope to have Shakur in the mix, but I, I just feel like Bob is setting up Loma for failure, bro. I just don't like how that feels. And I don't want to make it seem like it's so much of Cool Stevenson saying, oh, I'm going to fight Devin Haney next, and this is what it is. No, this is something that he said that they would probably fight later on down the line. They don't even think that they will fight each other at 135 because they're saying that Devin will probably move to 140 when he moves to 135. You know what I'm saying? He's saying he's still other belts at, at 130 that he want to collect. 
you know? So he's saying in time. And I've heard from Lil Machenko's camp who always complained at WAP one about 135 saying that it was, you know, too big of a weight class for him, you know? So he was saying 130 would be ideal for him and secure been begging for this Lil Machenko fight. So I think it was more of like Bob giving the kid what he asked for. Plus, it's a oh, show. So this fight going to be at 130 then? Yeah, I believe that this fight would be oh. at 130. You know I can rock with that too. That then that makes sense. I, I, I can respect that. You know what I mean? Either way, I feel like why not? If you want to pass the torch, so to speak, or give someone a chance to take the torch, why not give it to Devin? Um, and maybe perhaps it's just because Devin has a sign long term. You start getting into these big time trying to figure things out. It is what it is. That's a good fight. No one's complaining about it. If the fight happens, I'm going to be intrigued. Like I said, I like Shakur. I like Vasily. I like Devin. I think there's a lot of talent. Um, you know, if they fight each other, and Vasily's been fighting the best fighter, so you got to give it to Vasily. Devin showing he wants to fight the best fighters. Shakur stepping to the plate. So, you know, that's, that's doing more talking than writing a post on social media. So salute to all those gentlemen. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bro.